All right, let's try this again. Maybe we'll have better luck. So wait for the guys to join in. I may have to shoot them a text. We'll get this thing down in just a second. Technical difficulties seem to plague us when we're in different locations, but that's okay. We'll just roll with the punches. It's kind of like live TV, right? You never know what's going to happen. You just try to make it work. Looking for Doogie. So Doogie, when you get in here, let me know and I can get you added. Matter of fact, stand with me for a second. Let me shoot him a text and make sure he's okay. Because this is the first time we've tried to do a split screen on here since we're in two different locations. But we're trying to make it work. So stand by just a second. Let me make sure... And if you guys would please not ask to be added to the video because I can't do that. Uh, I'm waiting for Doug or one of the other guys up there in, while they're driving through Kentucky. Um, hey, Jamie. I, see, I guess I'll just try to look here and answer a few questions. Hey, Patty from Hendersonville. Um, we got several people coming in here now. We're up to 553. Uh, we're trying to make this thing happen remotely with all of us together um, waiting for Duke to join in uh, you guys that keep asking to be added to the video please don't do that because that's going to delay us a little bit longer but anyway uh, I don't know if you were able to hear us on the last one I went ahead and took it off since it had some issues there uh, but we're going to be uh, going to a location here in our hometown uh, stand by just a second I'm going to see if if Doogie can join us here, or the guys can all join us. 721 people in here. All right, tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Let's see. They are not joining yet, so I'm trying to get them to join. Hang on just a sec. They may be in a dead spot. Like I said, they're traveling to an event they have this weekend. Uh, constantly, we're all constantly running all over the country. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where's Doogie at? Let me shoot him a text real quick, guys. If you will hold on, the screen will go black for just a minute, but I'll be right back, and I'm going to try to get Doug added in. Let me see here. I don't, uh, I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't, I got somebody trying to talk to me outside the truck here now. It's kind of funny, uh, but um, anyway, uh, while I'm waiting for them to come back in here so I can add them, um, still looking for the guys. If they'll come back, then we'll get, we'll get started. I know this is a little bit technical of an issue here, but I'm glad to see that we have one of the largest crowds in here that we've had. I mean, this is 800, almost 900 people in here with us today. That's amazing, guys. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you guys watching and, and keeping up with the show and following our adventures around the country. I mean, it's an amazing, uh, thing that we have going on here. Uh, you know, we love it. We love the fact that it's live, you know, haunted live, uh, you know, Friday nights on travel channel, uh, 10, nine central. I mean, it's, it, it's a, it's a blessing. It's one of those things we've always wanted to do and to be able to share all these great locations with you. Uh, it's something that we absolutely love. Um, and we'd love for you guys to join us on this trip. Um, and I am really, I'm looking for these guys, but I guess they're, let me shoot them a text. Hang on just a minute. I hate to lose you, but if um, maybe if Liz, if you're watching or uh, any guys at that work you're watching right now, could you shoot Doogie a text and tell him to try to get back in here? Because I've not seen him try to get back in yet. I'm trying to bring him back on. Um, that way everybody's in here. And, and I was going to ask you guys this too. When we were both on the screen, how did you like the split screen? Was the split screen pretty cool where you could see both of us in two different places? Was that kind of fun? Thanks, Julie. I appreciate that. Yeah, the guys are amazing. Uh, you know, we've all been buddies for years, so it's kind of cool to get to do all this together. Um, everybody's asking a bunch of questions about different things, but we're trying to get all the guys to join us back again because I know they're traveling and we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. I don't want to do the location reveal until they're back with us. I don't want to take that thunder, uh, but I was hopeful that we could all do this together. Um, 
one of those things. So here we are. Um, love you guys and so thankful for you to follow us on Haunted Live. Um, this is an amazing adventure. It's always been one of those things where, uh, you know, as I was, you know, going up and watching uh, paranormal television, I always loved the live shows because it kind of takes that premise of things being tampered with away. I mean, you're watching it as it happens to us. There is a seven second delay just in case we fall or stumble or get scared and we uh, blurt out a uh, something that we shouldn't be saying. Uh, but, but that's uh, that's about as live as you're going to get. And then uh, and the, the amazing part about it, too, of course, most of you that watch the show and know is that you can get on Travel Channel's Facebook page and you can interact with the investigation by just uh, by watching those live feeds and let us know if you see something and hashtag it haunted live. Um, you know, that that is that's one of the amazing things that this uh, this opportunity has is that you can investigate with us from the comfort and safety of your own home and couch. Um you know, it's it's one of those deals where it's it's something that I would have loved to have done when I was watching paranormal television when I couldn't be out there doing it uh, and and doing those investigations. Uh, so I love it so much. Um, it's one of the, it's it's amazing. It's amazing to get to do that opportunity to be able to share that with all of you. Um, I'm just waiting for the guys to get back in here so I can add them back in. But they must be going through a dead spot. I'm trying to get them in here, but. And I keep having people trying to add themselves to my feed, uh, but I can't add you. Uh, I'm waiting for Doogie, Chris, Brandon, and Mike G to add in here so I can get them on. There's Doogie. I see him now. Let me see if I can bring Doogie in. Here. So here we go. All right. We're back. There you are. All right. We're back. We're somewhere in middle <laughs> America. Well, I was telling everybody that you guys were driving through Kentucky and probably had some bad service in that area. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. We're on our way to an event. We're going to uh, <laughs> Wilder, Kentucky. We're going to check out the Bobby Mackey's Music World tonight. So uh, we got a little bad reception, but we can't wait to hit up uh, Winwood tomorrow night. It's going to be a good time. You guys need to tune yep. in. Absolutely. I didn't disclose the location yet. I was waiting on you guys because I was afraid that uh, when we were talking earlier, it kind of cut off. So I didn't disclose it. So there, Chris just told you where we're going. Uh, we're going to be at historic Wynwood in Castalian Springs, Tennessee, not far from our hometown. Yeah, it's going to be pretty amazing. I get to do something pretty cool tomorrow night. Probably, uh, <laughs> you know, going to my deathbed. But, uh, you know, <laughs> hey, I'm up for it. It's going to be fun. Right, Mike? Right. I'll be watching you in your deathbed. Right, Brandon? Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that sounds really morbid, Mike. You're going to be watching Doogie in his deathbed. What are you going to be watching him do? Yeah, this is another location with some... Uh, Speak up just a little bit. Hey, man, man, I'm bring it back here. All right, guys. Everyone hear me all right? Um, I was going to say that this uh, location has got a lot of Native American history, kind of like uh, some last few that we've done. Um, and it's, uh, unfortunately had some uh, desecrated graves. So something, uh, the, another intense, uh, investigation that we could be in for, you know, I mean, you know, whenever a uh, native American remains are messed with, you know, it could, uh, be an interesting night. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it guys. We've never hit this place up before. Um, it's one of those places that we live around. We always drive by it. We always want to go in, but we've never had the opportunity. Well, now we finally get the opportunity, and the best part about it is you guys get to join us live while we're doing it. So uh, you're not going to want to miss this one. Guys, I'd like to introduce yeah. you to our good buddy Jason. What's up? Our paranormal hey, partner Jason. in crime. He helps us out a lot with uh, investigations. He's been doing this a long time. I'm going to hand it back up, dude. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Whoa, don't, don't, don't turn the van over, Dougal. That was close. You'll, you'll, you'll spare your Mountain Dew. Sorry, we almost hit the Kraft cheese truck. Don't do it. <laughs> be, there'd be cheese whiz everywhere. Mike's driving. He's been drinking that caffeinated stuff today. Oh, look out now. Got to get prepared for the ghosties. Got to get prepared for the ghosties. always have to be prepared for the ghosties. Got to be caffeinated <laughs> and carved up. Well, yeah, did you talk about uh, you You had been to this place once? I I have not. I kind of kept that kind of uh, under the hat until I got you guys back. So um, what I can tell you about is I have actually myself been up there and investigated a little bit uh, at Wynwood. 
and had some phenomenal interaction with some folks there in the room with me. Um, we were uh, we were there just a little, little just, I guess about, a, about almost a month ago, maybe less than a month ago. And there's a lot of amazing history there tied to the location uh, that really, like Brandon was talking about, the Native American connection there. It's a, uh, you know, the site is built on uh, Native American stone box graves uh, that were disturbed throughout the 1800s. Another unique thing that's connected to me is that I have a, uh, a genealogical connection to the location that's mentioned in some of my genealogical documents. So this should be real interesting when we get there. Who knows what we're going to uncover with this investigation when you pull all of us together in one location? Yeah, that's the crazy thing, man. It was just like last week's episode. Um, we were dealing with a lot of the Native Americans, you know, that they, they, they disturbed the graves there. And kind of in this same area that we're going to be in, you've got the mound builders that were set up there. I mean, there's a whole lot of ties back to the Native Americans here. So it's another one of those locations that, you know, this may be one of those that could go crazy on us and, and, and we not even know it because when anybody knows anything about paranormal investigation, when you're dealing with those uh, Indian burial grounds and stuff that's been disturbed, then you never know how the investigation is going to go. Yeah, you know, it's a big thing is we don't know how that, uh, that rift may still exist even after life. Uh, and, and maybe that battle's still going on. So uh, somebody, you know, maybe the Native Americans are still wanting that land back after all these years. Um, who knows what it is? Maybe that energy's just left that indelible mark there, and uh, and it still shows up, and that's what we communicate with. But either way, it's going to be an exciting investigation. Mike, anything to add? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our, our mission statement has always been respect, detect, collect. Uh, that respect part is going to be uh, a big one on this uh, investigation tomorrow night. We're going to see what kind of evidence we get going with the utmost respect, try to communicate with uh, whomever, whatever is still inhabiting, and uh, see if uh, you guys can help us collect some evidence. Yeah, I don't know why people are confused. We are headed to Bobby Mackey's for an event. We are doing <laughs> Winwood. That's for correct. So tomorrow. <laughs> so you guys. <laughs> you guys are traveling with Bobby Mackey's today, back in town for Winwood tomorrow, and then back out somewhere else on the weekend. So it's a busy as life. They, as they say, no sleep till Brooklyn. That's right. <laughs> no rest for the weary. Or, as I've heard a lot of times, I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> um, someone asked, can you bring these spirits home with you? Yes. I mean, you can pray up. You can do things. Um, sometimes these spirits are transient. They can they can follow you, but if they do come home with you, just don't pay them attention because it's going to feed off fear or your acknowledgement sometimes. And, um, you know, and that I help you out with that. But, yes, they – Uh-oh, guys. <laughs> you got any questions, think... guys? <laughs> Says Brooklyn in the house. What's up, Brooklyn? Hey, hey we was Brooklyn. just in there. Just towards Brooklyn on Monday. Let's see here. Well, Tuesday. <laughs> I'm looking to see if yeah, there's any other questions we've Pakistan. missed. You guys see any back in there? What's up, Jessica Vick? Hey, somebody, somebody asked if we've ever had any attachments. I know, I know. Chris has talked about his uh, his explorer story quite a bit, but that's a good one. There may be some people in here who haven't heard it. We're losing him. Oh man! Bad, well, maybe. <laughs> if you can hear us, man, we're lo we're losing you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we can cut this one short since we're having connectivity issues, and then we'll try to do it better next time. How about that? Yep. We will see you guys tomorrow night, 10, 9 central on the Travel Channel. Tune in, popcorn ready, get your spooky on. Everybody say, yeah. Make sure you wear your depends. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Be sure to join us tomorrow night on Travel Channel, 10, 9 central. 
And be sure to get on the uh, uh, Travel Channel Facebook page and help us do the investigation by watching the live feeds. If you see something, hashtag it Haunted Live. I think the guys are going through another dead spot. So I'll go ahead and end this one. And we'll just try to do the next one a lot better all together in the same location. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow night.